All right, so as you can see, so this is um, this is an example of the things that are, um, it's just here for for you to, to know how this, this helps you to control the buttons that are, the big buttons that are there on the form. Uh, this just means function one, act bit. Um, and then you have form, form one name and then form two to open, and then you can, can follow the same logic there. Okay, so what's going on with this is that when I when you check this, when you check this, this is what is going to happen. Um, let's log out. Okay, so the name goes for that uh, for that button there. It means that uh, the person is not is not allowed to have access to, to this button here. Um, as you can see, the the button just goes to the default the default caption that uh, um, that I put, which is just demo one. Um, but you can put different captions for yourself. Okay, that's what happens when you do that. Um, so when you check it, And what will happen is that it's going to receive the caption that you have that you have put there. Okay, so let me explain some few things here. So the the form name one, this is the caption that's going to show on the button, and then the the form to open, this is the form that is going to be opened when you click on that button. So you want to make sure that when you have put these two values there, uh, then you check this. A checkbox here in order for um, for this caption to be uh, to be applied to the button um, and also for you to have access to the to the form uh, when you click when you click when you click on the button okay um, what you will notice here is that um, this but this this, these functions here, they control button number one. Uh, so the order that is here follows the order that is there on the form. So this controls the buttons, the first, the first row, and this controls the second row, and this controls the third row. So you have about, uh, about 12 buttons there, and also here you have about 12 functions that are able to control those buttons. All right, so if you want to control button number one, this is where you come. Button number two, this is where you come. Uh, button number three, and then button number four, and then button number five, six, seven, eight, and then number nine, 10, 11, button number 12. So that is the order there. Okay, now another thing that I need to mention is that if you have, for example, here, you have checked, maybe, so you have checked F, F4A, that is function for active. Um, so these numbers here, like FA1 and F, uh, F1A and then F4A, um, it's just the order that I've chosen in order for me to, um, to, know, to know what I'm dealing with. Okay, you can change, you can change it, you can change the, the names. Maybe if the names are complicated, you can choose the ones that are, uh, that suits you. Um, but this is what is going on here. Now, if you have checked, for example, you have checked this, and then you have the caption for the button, and then you haven't put, uh, you haven't put the form that, uh, that you want to be opened. What is going to happen is that if this is, if this is not there, the message also is going to show up. Um, that one which says you do not have access to, uh, you have not been allowed to have access to this form. So let me show you what's going to happen. And that is, this is the button here. So we still remember that because we are we put service there. So when we click on this, it's going to say you do not have permission to open this service. So two things, um, two things that you have to keep in mind. So if you have not checked the the FA the F one or 
or the FS, let me just call, call those the function act, the functions that uh, activate the button to work. Uh, what is going to happen is that uh, the message is going to show up. If you have not put the form to open, uh, if you have not put the form to open, um, also the message is going to show up. But if you have not put the caption and then you have checked, um, you, you have checked the uh, the FAs and then you have put the form to open, it's going to have a default, uh, it's going to have the default name and then the button is going to have a default name. And then when you click on that, the form is going to open. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's go here. Uh, just take for instance, button number one, we want to control button number one. First, uh, we tried this. When we go there, uh, again, so it's just going to say demo one, but when we click on it, it's going to say you do not have permission to open because we did not activate this button to open the form that we assigned. So, um, so it means that when we check this, it means that it will, we have the permission to do that. Now we saw that when we remove the form to open, the message also shows up. But when we remove this, um, what is going to happen is that we'll be able to have access to the form, regardless of whether the caption is there or not. Uh, so uh, it's just demo one. When we click there, demo one is going to open. Okay, so that's what is going on. So these buttons are controlled, are controlled by these functions that are here. Okay, let's take this one. Maybe. Okay. So that's what is going on here. Okay, so let's go to the 